Store with a video presentation of the Pocketbook 302. It's a 6 inch e reader with a touch screen. We got the uh, white version, there's also a black version. As I say, 6 inch e ink Fisplex touch screen, and you get 1 gigabyte of internal storage. There is a, a USB host, Bluetooth, Wi Fi. Uh, you get 4 gigabytes of micro. SD card within this package. So let's start. Open it. Of course, the e reader, white version. You also get wall charger and USB jack, leather case. And of course the micro SD card, 4 gigs. So let's start this one. So it's on the touch screen. I can use the stylus on the left side. But it's also possible to use my fingers. I can go back and forth. And so, this is the home screen. I get books, uh, news, RSS feeds, favorites, photo, music, applications, web browser, games, uh, dictionary, notes, a calendar, simple calendar, and settings. So let's start with books. Well, there are several books on the device itself. You can see that by these icons on the right side, um, I don't have an SD card inserted yet, so here are uh, an icon that all these books are stored on the device itself and I have another icon which says that I already opened the book and reading the book. So let's start with this one, a love story. All those uh, buttons uh, are adjustable, so I can, for example, use this one to go forward and this one to go back, or these two. But what I think is really nice is I can use my finger or the stylus on the bottom side and swipe to go to the next page. This one, this big button, it's only one button, is to go back. And I just uh, uh, read a love story in the Adobe Viewer. What's special about this e-reader is it contains two readers. When I hold down, I get a sub-menu with <coughs> Open With and FB Reader. It's another reader and it got many, it's got many more options than the Adobe Viewer. So for example, when I push in the middle of the screen, I get a menu and I go, go to Settings. And here we can choose uh, a font size or uh, another font, line spacing, page margins, hyphenations and line break. So there are many options that, isn't, that aren't possible in the Adobe Viewer. So let's go back and let's go back to the submenu and I can choose add notes. Now I will take my stylus because I'm going to select some text. And I can choose to make a new notepad. So let's quickly rename this one. Track, for example. Now I've contained the selected text in a note. So when I go back to the uh, home screen, I can use the power button because I adjusted that one. If I uh, double tap it, I go directly to the home screen. A 
as I said, this uh, e-reader contains Wi-Fi. This means I can uh, browse the internet with a, a web browser, but I can also go to Bookland, and it's a very nice site. I'm now connecting to the internet here. You already configured that. It's opening the connection now. There we go. So I can choose English. And I go to from SPT. Bing, uh, choose a writer and add uh, a download, deeper format, it's downloading, it's very fast for an e-reader of course and it's also possible to connect mm -hmm. to a PC to download books yeah. and then uh, sync them with your e-reader. But when you're abroad or you're having a Wi-Fi connection, you can just go to the website Bookland and uh, browse for some free books. So I download it, go back to books, and there we can find the book I just downloaded. I think it's on page one. Here, Arve Roma. Learning. It's learning, it's a big book. And there we go. Again, I can choose to swipe or make his buttons to go forward or backward. So let's go to applications. I've got a calculator, a card game, a chess game, a clock, a dictionary, a mini browser, Scribble, Snake and Sudoku. And this is a very fast e-reader with a very good screen. I can, show you, I can show you that by playing Snake. As you can see, the, the screen is refreshing very rapidly and that's very uh, uncommon for e-readers. So, the screen and the browser, or the, the processor, I'm sorry, are very fast. So now I can go to calendar, as you can see, very basic. You can't uh, make appointments in this one. Settings. Oh, very uh, uh, wide settings menu, very uh, much options. I can go to appearance team or interface phone, screen rotation. Uh, screen rotation is now set to auto, this means um, when I go so to the home screen, it's auto adjusting to landscape or portrait, no matter how you use it. And you can, in the settings menu, change this to manual or auto. So, Pocketbook 302, very nice. One a uh, gigabyte of internal storage, 4 gigabyte of micro SD in the package, books, you can download them right from the device in booklet, RSS feeds, photos, music, applications like mini browser or snake or dictionary, notes, calendar and a white settings menu. So it's a really fast and nice e-reader.